All-terrain tires have a tough design that allows them to go anywhere. But they still make sure that your ride stays comfortable on road. And to achieve that, Toyo Open Country 83 completely rebuilt their design with their newer tire. But how would this tire perform against the famous BFG KO2? Well, let's find out. Why is KO2 so famous here? Is it because they dropped it from 10,000 feet? Oh yes, they surely did and the tire survived the impact and they even made a commercial out of it. BFG says it's their toughest tire ever made and the tire is pretty tough with 3-ply polyester sides. These sides give out very aggressive design with serrated shoulders where one block is having a scoop in it and the other one just simply falls down to the sidewall making a sharp shoulder edge. Lateral siping and notches are also seen on both of its weirdly shaped shoulder blocks which vary in width and length a lot. This variation in these blocks make a very tough passing circumferential grooves all along the tire. They also carry a lot of spacing in between as well, so it makes bolder stone injectors. In the middle, you see worm-like thread blocks with the same kind of siping and notches everywhere. These siping go all the way deep, which further divides these blocks, allowing them to squirm or wiggle according to the surface they are on. On the other side, with Toyo Open Country 83, although you see a very similar serrated shoulder design having a same kind of scoop, but it simply looks less aggressive compared to KO2. On KO2, where you see those angled cuts and bulkier sidewall lugs, here you simply see a very blocky design without any kind of notches on them. The lesser gaps between these shoulder blocks also make smaller stone injectors in comparison as well. In the middle, Toyo's flagship tire features a prominent S-shaped block which looks like a Superman's logo. Or maybe it's just me. Do tell in the comments. These S-shaped blocks show sharp edges which are further surrounded by others with incisions in them. These cuts face in all directions, allowing this tire to hug the surface it's on firmly. So looking at both tires, it can be seen why Toyo 83 performed better on road in terms of traction. The Toyo 83 with more compact blocks in the middle shows remarkable traction, especially on wet roads. On the other side, with wider grooves, the KO2 was able to achieve more float speeds, making it more resistant to hydroplane. But the tire could use some on-road wet traction overall. But where KO2 tire lacked a little on wet roads, it really made up for it off-road. You can throw anything in front of these tires, and they would simply crawl their way out with no trouble. The interlocking pattern of this tire is very efficient. It gives KO2 a combination of lateral and circumferential suit of traction. So it was better able to climb rocks, handle gravel, dirt and stones in a much better way. Its aggressive shoulder blocks and wider grooves also allow more volume of mud to evacuate. And its bulkier shoulder lugs scoop the tire's way out when aired down deep in mud. On the other side, the Toyo 83 is also not too far off. Its staggered shoulders still make a very competitive circumferential grooves, while its notches everywhere firmly latch on the surface of the rocks. On high-speed gravel, the ridges between its shoulder blocks also provide anti-stone technology, where it doesn't allow any rocks to get stuck in and cause damage. The tire also performed great on snow. And like the KO2, it's also rated with 3 Peak Mountain Snowflake rating. So overall, Toyo 83 is still also a great pick for off-roaders. If we come to the inner construction, both tires have two plies of polyester with two high running steel belts, which is then wrapped with two layers of nylon, which is pretty much the standard with these all-terrain tires. Still, the KO2 provides more safety to the most vulnerable part of an 80 tire the sidewalls. Besides having a bulky sidewall lug, KO2 also has one extra layer of polyester. 
This means that this tire would provide better protection from harsher terrains, especially from sharp rocks. If we talk about their sizes, both tires range from 15 to 22 inches. But here, the Toyo 83 provides you with 146, compared to KO2's 86 total sizes. So, what's the verdict? Well, the BFG KO2 justifies being the more expensive one. It shows greater durability combined with remarkable off-road performance and on-road with its uniform design, it gives a pretty comfortable ride. On the other side, Toyo 83 showed greater on-road traction in both wet and dry conditions. It also provides a comfortable ride and off-road things aren't that bad either. Which tire do you guys prefer here? Do tell in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.